Aries friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So Aries, this is going to be for February 2020 for your monthly general reading. I do apologize for being late, but we are here now. Also, Aries, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please watch your other signs. I am using um, the Thelema for you guys. For Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Period. Universe. Aries. Your cards are perfect. Perfect. And Aries, those of you that would like to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, I do do a lot of um, Facebook and Instagram lives for additional guidance. So if you guys would like to follow me there, that'd be awesome. Every Wednesday I do that. All right. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Your overall energy. So you are working hard. You know, within your career, some of you could be being recognized for your work, very focused on something, definitely devoting a lot of time, energy, effort into something. And here you are, my loves. And you know, you guys do have a couple of threes in this reading. So for some of you, there is definitely... A situation involving three people. It could be, you know, with the Empress and Aries or Taurus or this, I think, is just you. This person could be a business owner, someone that's just very, very successful and accomplished. But with the Eight of Cups crossing this, you're definitely moving on from something or someone because it was it was emotionally just no longer serving you anymore some of you actually literally could be moving away from this woman or moving toward this woman you know this could represent you very focused on the future getting ready to move forward towards someone or something if you're not dealing with a woman she also represents new beginnings and look at look at this card there is so much green stability security abundance success love her in this deck and you have the full card too you have both of your cards here i just realized that A new beginning, something that you're giving birth to. You know, and with the Three of Pentacles energy, you are working very hard. Those of you that are starting something new, like a new business, putting something out there, getting recognized, a new job, whatever the case may be, you are going to be extremely successful. Whatever you start with the Empress is going to be very rewarding for you. So, Aries, all of your hard work is going to pay off big time. Your foundation, you do have the Nine of Wands. And I feel like this is something that you've had to wait for years even. You know, th but this is you sticking it out. You're not backing down. You're definitely exhausted, feeling tired. A little overwhelmed. You definitely went through some difficulties, but you're still hanging in there. And some of you, this could have been something 
that you felt challenged with or maybe something you had to wait on. And now at the start of the month, you're starting something new. You know, again, you know, the Empress, she's very creative, fertile energy. Some of you, for my women, you could be conceiving, finding out that you're pregnant. Something that you've been trying to do. And those of you that want to get pregnant, don't give up on that. Keep trying. In the recent past, you have the star. Sign of Aquarius, which we're in right now. And it is the most optimistic card in the entire deck. It's, it's healing energy. Very, very spiritual energy. And it does represent you being on the right path. Some of you were very optimistic in the recent past. Being divinely guided when it comes to this. And crowning you, you have the Six of Cups. This definitely could be someone or something from the past. That's very important. This is what you're thinking about. Those of you that are dealing with this woman. Or you are this woman and you're dealing with someone else. This is someone that's coming back into your life. Someone that you definitely, definitely used to know. Others of you could definitely be getting into a relationship here. This is a soulmate card. Getting into a soulmate relationship. Having a lot of fun together. And you feel very grateful. You feel comfortable with this person. It's just absolutely beautiful, heartwarming, excuse me, energy. And then coming around the second half of the month, again, your energy with the fool. The Empress, Aries, you're definitely starting something new. Some of you might need to put yourself out there. Definitely take some sort of risk. But definitely starting down a new path. Sign of um, Aries, right. Um, for some of you, I do feel like this really is a wish come true for you. How you see yourself, you have the Queen of Cups. You know, Feeling emotional. I think you're following your heart. You're going with your intuition, your instincts. When it comes to this, in your environment, people around you, you have the Seven of Cups. So, like I said, definitely feeling emotional. It could be a confusing energy. I definitely see you, you know, kind of fantasizing, daydreaming. But you have a lot of options or choices in front of you. You definitely have some decisions to make. Or maybe a water sign does. But I do see a lot of you starting down this new path. I feel like new doors are definitely opening up for you, Aries. But there is definitely one person in particular. From the past. One... Someone from the past that is absolutely coming back around. And for some of you, you definitely have other options or doors that are opening up for you. But you're going to have to see things for what they really are. Make a decision. All of these options that you have in front of you. Some are good for you. Some are not so good for you. Now, in your hopes and fears, you have the lovers. Sorry, I'm making a mess here. 
sign of Gemini. But I think you're hoping to make the right decision. Hoping to make the right choice. For those of you that are making a decision, waiting on a decision, hoping that a decision is made. Others of you, a relationship from the past. And that's really what I feel. A relationship from the past is very important. And you could be hoping for this relationship to move forward. Those of you that are married, you know, I th you guys are definitely hoping for that time together. You know, the lover's card is a very passionate card. Hoping to get that passion back into your relationship. And those of you that are meeting someone new, it is very, very possible that you guys work together and are meeting at work. And you're leaving the month with the Two of Wands. This card is also about decisions. So some of you definitely have a big decision to make. If it's not you, you know, the one that's making, that is making it maybe the first half of the month because, you know, you are looking at other options here. You definitely could be making it by the end of the month. It also represents making plans for the future, being focused on the future. So if you did meet someone You're definitely getting into a new relationship here at the end of the month. With the Two of Wands and the Lovers, you you definitely could have been dating multiple people. You know, had a lot of people interested in you. But I really feel like you've narrowed it down and you know which one you want. There is one person in particular that you're either pursuing or getting involved with. And it also represents partnership. It, this is definitely love for many of you. Others of you, it's a new beginning that you're definitely starting here. But let's clarify it. And really, honestly, the whole reading is amazing. All I want to clarify is the Seven of Cups. Same author as the Thelema, the Arcanium. Absolutely gorgeous deck. Seven of Cups for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, signs, Aries. Okay, that was quick. And we have a cluster. And I am just going to take them all. Two sevens. You already have spiritual guidance here. Sevens do represent you know, spiritual being on the right path. Being spiritually and divinely guided. The four of pentacles and the five of cups. With the seven and the four of pentacles... Some of you definitely could have been closed off. Not open to something. Even a little bit stubborn. You know, the Five of Cups. It is definitely something connected to the past that's been ongoing. You know, you definitely could have some regrets. Concerning the past. Maybe doing something your way hasn't worked. Because I am getting... Really, this this 
stubborn at stubborn attitude energy here so some of you either this is either you or someone that you're dealing with someone wanted to control a situation or wanted something to happen in a particular way but someone is finally realizing that that's not working. I think some of you are looking at the progress that you've made or lack thereof. So I feel like you are with the Seven of Pentacles. You are re-strategizing. With the Seven of Cups, looking at other options, choices. And I think for some of you... This is your energy. But if you're not dealing with someone or a situation that you had to be patient with, even though, you know, you're working hard, devoting a lot of time, energy, effort into this, you really have had to be very patient. Or maybe it's just you, or maybe it just has you a little bit, you know, down, sad, depressed with the Five of Cups. But there are going to be, there's going to be new doors that are going to be opening up for you. You're, a lot of you are starting down a new path, no longer focusing on the past. Very interesting reading, Aries. I will say that. So I'm going to be grabbing you an Oracle card. And I'm going to use... Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Totally, like, knocked the camera over here. Oracle of the Unicorns. And also the Romance Angels. For you guys. Oops. All right, let me just throw these on the floor here. Um, let me get these first. Okay, Oracle of the Unicorns. Amazing deck. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun, Spirit, February. Day 20 for Aries. Your card's just popping out. I'm starting to feel like I'm on Facebook Live. <laughs> Romance Angels. You know, this top one jumped, and I, I think I'm just going to take that. I feel like I need to. All right, let's see what this is. Leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. Come on. Look at all this green. There's a lot of abundance, growth, and success with this um, some of you definitely feel more empowered some of you could be stepping into a leadership role definitely I do feel like some of you need to feel empowered. Move forward confidently down this new path. Take this risk, this leap of faith. And go for it. If this is on, on, you know, on the career. If this is career, you're definitely stepping, stepping into a leadership role that is going to be so much growth and success. I just, I see it. I feel it. 
I can't even tell you how many times this card has come out. You guys are my 11th sign. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. If you're single and you want to meet someone, you need to make the effort. And by doing that, you need to put yourself out there. Take a risk, a leap of faith in some way. If you're dating someone and you really like them and you want it to go to the next level, make the effort by showing them that you care. If you're coupled, married, making a little extra, you know, this month to spend more time with them, show them a little extra love and affection. Needing to make the effort when it comes to relationships in general. But overall, Aries, really a great reading. Aries, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Absolutely love you guys. Hope this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And I will see you guys back here very soon with your love monthlies. Take care, guys. Bye.